Welcome to Troy, Alabama. A lot of fans might think that running through the tee is reserved for the volunteers of Tennessee. But the Trojans here at the Bet would strongly disagree as we are set for a showdown on the wiregrass. Today, a couple of Sunbelt rivals ready to square off. As we'll see, the Texas State Bobcats taking on the Troy Trojans. 48 Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. Cats will kick it away to start us off. And he's coming out of the end zone. Gets it across the 20 to the 21, and not quite what he would have picked up just taking the touchback. The Trojans' offense will have the first possession of the game. And there he is. To this team's fans, he is a heroic figure. He is the guy who can lead them to the promised land. This guy has been in big games, in big moments, and he's delivered. Can anyone catch him? That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. It'll be a draw. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. He'll do it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Big play to start the drive. A little tougher sense. Now a crucial third down on this drive. Trying to get to it. And the freshman will chalk up a sack. And early in the game, I love when you set the tone and make the quarterback feel uncomfortable. Nice job getting him on the ground, getting your first sack of the day. Listen, they had three last week, but they want to continue to build on that number and keep getting it higher, and that's a great start. The Trojans will punt this one away. He ought to be able to use this first punt to pin him deep. Boots his first of the day away. He was called on four times in the victory last week. And the ball will bounce it to four and find its way into the end zone for a touchback. So Texas State's offense taking the field. First chance we have to see them today. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team. And generally, games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. Th these are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. And the Bobcats headed quickly to the line. From the gun, he leaves it with the bat. Not much doing there. He gets it to the 26, a gain of one. Facing a third down and short from the 26. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. The Bobcats will call on their punt team. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll park it at the 32. So, guys, we'll have another look at this Troy offense. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. Running back searching for a hole. Really nice pickup on that one as they get it to the 36. It'll be first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Trying to find his man on first down. Caught in the backfield, it's Taylor. And that will go backwards. A negative play in that defense on high alert that time. Off the play fake. Throwing right. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. 
looking to pass. It's Crowder. Pressure coming. And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. Well, this is a quarterback who's not known for his running ability, obviously. We've seen him make some great throws, but mobility, that's probably not on your bingo card. And you saw it right there. He gets brought down for the sack. And the Trojans line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. The punt goes out of bounds and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. Texas State has the football back and they'll go on offense. Gonna run it, it's Burgess. Not a lot of room there, give him a couple to the 16. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. They try to pop a run on the draw. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Floating away. On the move at the 30. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. And the Bobcats racing to the line in the hurry up. Nice job, nice way to end that play for the QB. He does a really good job scrambling, getting the first down, and getting down. Because defensively, I'm trying to get a lick. Anytime I can hit the quarterback, that is a win. The defense got caught that time, and they finally get him on the ground at the 41. Yeah, I tell you what, I'm always keeping track as a defensive coordinator of where they're running the football. You can see they ran it to the right. Do they like this matchup? Is the right side of their offensive line really good? I'm going to be paying attention to that because that's a big game. i got to make sure I shut this down the next time they run it. And he has a solid gain on the play before sliding. No huddle here for the offense. Yeah, I think you're just seeing the experience this guy has, right? He's so poised that initially he's flushed out of the pocket. Nothing's open, and he doesn't panic. He's not throwing it away. He's not sliding early. He just knows where the defense isn't. And he's able to attack that space with his speed and get a positive play. Back to pass. It's McLeod. Looking to buy time. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the hit. A nifty pickup there. They've got it down to the three. Now it's second and goal. Pushes for the goal line. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. They moved it right to the precipice of a score, and they need one more yard. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. They're happy enough to try to take the points as the field goal unit heads out. Oh, he missed it. No good. Kicker tried to tack a few more on the scoreboard, guys. He couldn't do it. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making in his sleep. Now the Trojan offense returns to the field. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. The Trojans will keep this drive going. It's first and 10 from the 31. He'll keep it himself. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Snagged in the middle, it's Lewis. Oh, look out, there he goes! Inside the 10, and he'll haul it in and take it to the end zone. Touchdown, Troy! What a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense.
PAT unit on the field. And the extra point is good, and it's 7 nothing. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. UTEP is in front. They've owned the line of scrimmage today. They still have some work to do to put this in the win column. They're up by seven over Sam Houston. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business, gentlemen. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. The Bobcats in the hurry up. The run from the shotgun. Able to work it to the 39-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. To the air, it's McLeod. Now he's going to glide away from pressure. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the big hit. Up tempo for the offense. You know, QBs want to make those big plays. They want to they want to put up the big stats. But when nothing's there, sometimes you just tuck the ball, get a minimal gain. I like the slide, by the way, too. Get down and don't take a big hit. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. And the Bobcats are on the move. That was a nice pickup, running the drag route and finding that quiet, soft spot in the zone. Yeah, drag routes not only work against man coverage, they work against zone, too. If you can find the soft spot, the quarterback gets it to him early, he can turn up field. We saw that right there. They'll run it from the gun. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. We'll see if they go back to the run here on third down. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Throws to the wideout. Got his man downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. First down for the offense. He leaves it with his back. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four as they get set to snap it just about to reach the end of the quarter. Hand off from the shotgun. And after the stop, that is going to put a bow on this first quarter. We've reached the end of the quarter, and Troy is on top. One period in the books, and let's take a look at the stats. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game in the second quarter. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Buys a little time. And he tries to get away, but he cannot. He's taken down. He'll lose a couple. The number one job is to protect your quarterback, and they weren't able to do it long enough that time. This offensive line, Reese, they've got to do a better job communicating pre-snap and try and figure out which people on defense are going to be rushing the passer. Right now, this offense just looks confused. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. And he'll try it from the right. Hash and the angle shouldn't be too bad from this distance. He tried to give it enough body English, but he missed it. And they couldn't cut into the lead. It's still a seven-point game. That's just a chip shot. That's just a field goal they got to make, guys. Guys, the Troy offense returns to the field. David, they'd love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. And he's down at the 41. That's a first down. And the Trojans come to the line in the hurry up. Off the play fake on first down. 
And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. These guys are bringing serious heat. They are like sharks swarming and just getting after the passer. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. No siree, not this time. The defense was there and ready for that one. And we might as well state the obvious. First and second down didn't work out. Third and very long. Looking to throw and he needs a chunk play. They're trying to get to him. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. On third and long, you know what's coming. That's exactly where you want to get an offense. The passing game has to come out. You go nickel, bring some more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack to force the fourth down. The Trojans will try to pin them back with the punt. Running it back, it's Anderson. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. Texas State gets the football back, and here comes the offense. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing, David, it can be demoralizing. Yeah, and it can definitely be frustrating. And I think it leads you to say maybe I go for it more. But, Jesse, I think this offense just needs to put another drive together and just finish stronger. Yeah, and, and be a little bit less predictable, too, especially as they get closer and closer down to the end zone. And this one will be stopped for no gain. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Trying to make magic on the scramble. And he's brought down after a nice game. The Bobcats getting set on first and ten. That is the exact situation that every defense draws up. I want you in third and long. I want you in a predictable passing situation. But I don't want you with that guy. Because that guy can run around, scramble, buy time, make third and long look like third and short, and pick up a first down. And the Bobcats have their offense in high gear. Now from inside the red zone. He's got it on the run. They get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score. From the shotgun, they'll run it. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with a first down. On the doorstep of cashing it in for the offense. They'll try to run it in. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Bobcats. The best running backs are the guys that can just sniff out the end zone. That running back showed you all of his freakish ability on that play. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. Bangs it through for an extra pointer. That drive covered 62 yards for the touchdown and closed the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. On the move from inside is five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. So, guys, we'll have another look at this Troy offense. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And, David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. Looking downfield, it's Crowder. Fires to the tight end. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. On third down, going up top. 
And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. Great job up front on this pass rush. Defense in a dime personnel grouping. They've got six DBs on the field. They're expecting pass, so they're going to have to win with four guys. And they're 4-1. They got the job done. And the Trojans will Number punt it away on fourth down. He only needs a sliver of daylight. He'll get it up to about the 44-yard line before they slam the brakes on him. Texas State has the football back, and they'll go on offense. How big is this drive? Scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense gets a stop, and now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so if you're the offensive coordinator here, let's dial it in. Who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity? Yeah, and I'm interested to see this defense, too. Like, the momentum is clearly not in your favor. How do you get it back? How do you make a big play? Do you be more aggressive here to try to get the football back to your offense? And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. He'll ride his man on the option. They were all over him, nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. On the move, looking for a little sliver of hope. He'll get it out to about the 20-yard line, and that's where they'll mark him down. Now the Trojan offense returns to the field. Quarterback on the keeper. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. Looking for a man. It's Crowder. Unloads to the right. That one never had a chance. Incomplete. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Coming after it. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. I tell you what, if I'm this QB, I am ill as a hornet in my offensive line. Are you kidding me? That's the sixth time they put me on the ground? Dudes, will y'all protect me a little bit better, please? The Trojans will bring the punt team onto the field. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. Well, they finally stop him, but he found some running room on that return and really helps out his offense to start this drive. They go to the ground. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. And that's a first down. They're going to ride this running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The Bobcats are in the hurry up. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. We've seen a ton of this tonight. They just keep giving him the ball, and he keeps running into brick walls. Not much running room again. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Quarterback doing what he does best. He can move. Short gain on the play before he slides. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. And he'll envision the ball flight as he lines it up from the right hash and 38 yards out. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And guys, after the field goal, now they have the lead. So they are lining up to kick it off after that last drive. Put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut them down. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. They'll give it to the back. At the 35, he's open. Works his way to the 41, and that is plenty to give him a first down. 
Big chunk play to start this drive. Now they'll really try to take it to this defense. Continuing to churn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we have ourselves a ball game, and they have a chance to take the lead here before the half. Grabbed in the middle, it's Lewis. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. The clock is not their friend. Got to get everybody to the line quickly. Comes out throwing on first down. Right down the middle. Got his man. Brought down at the 28. A chunk play. 15 yards on that one and a first down. There's not a quarterback in college football that's not going to be successful with that much time to throw the football. And I think, Reese, I think I can hear the, uh, the defensive coordinator in the next room, and he doesn't sound happy. No words that we could use on this broadcast. Just gets rid of it to the running back underneath. Tackled almost immediately. They're well short of the first down. Looking to throw it again. Just too much heat that time, and they knock him down at the 31. They got more sacks than a grocery store. Goodness gracious, time and time again, getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground, this defense having their way. Now facing a third and long. Dropping back, it's Crowder. Getting some heat. He'll pull it down. And he avoids the hit and slides after the short gain. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. So now on comes the field goal unit. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. And that'll tie things up as we head toward halftime. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. UTEP is down right now inside the Sun Bowl, but this young man under center today has shown some moxie. We could see a legend board today in El Paso. It's just a field goal game. They're trailing by three to Sam Houston. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Texas State gets the football back, and here comes the offense. Quarterback moving. Going to try to get it himself. He's going to be able to pick up a few yards before the slide. Timeout called by the offense, and now they just have one remaining in the half. On second down, he'll let it fly. It's caught. They'll immediately call timeout. Here they come, first and 10 from the 48. He's going to pass. Just a short pass to the tight end. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. And the Bobcats want to move quickly. Got to get lined up to spike it and stop the clock. Second down coming up. Second down. He's looking to throw. Intercepted. Bringing it back. He's inside the 40. Running inside the 20. And he's going to take it all the way. Touchdown, Trojans. What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense. Go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. So here comes the kickoff after the touchdown, and the last thing you need right before the half is to give up a big return. 
from inside his own 10. He'll try to help out their field position. And he's able to pick his way through the traffic nicely for a good return on that one before he's brought down. Dropping back, it's McLeod. And that one's too high, too wide, out of bounds and incomplete. One more play before the teams head to the locker rooms. He's going to pass on second down. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. It's incomplete, and they tried to finish this quarter with a bang and couldn't quite connect. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Guys, you've been calling a lively one so far in Troy today. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. And with that, let's head back to our team inside Veterans Memorial Stadium. And the Trojans will kick it away to start the second half. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Texas State has the football back, and they'll go on offense. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. And it's an incomplete pass on the deep shot, but the flag is down. Let's check the call. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught. Well, the quarterback can make a big play when he starts moving around. And he gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage before he gets down. The Bobcats will hustle to the line. They'll leave it with him. He makes the stop at the 48. That'll be enough for a first down and a pickup of 10. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Well, they get another big run for a first down, and if you're on offense, you love the way your offensive line is blocking early in this game. They are getting tremendous movement, and they're... And he got away from the defense and takes it in. Touchdown, Bobcats! One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. And if this quarterback gets through his progression, David, he hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback, wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. And after that extra point, we have a tie ball game in the third quarter. After that latest answer, tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. And it'll come out to the 25, no attempt at a return. Guys, the Troy offense returns to the field. Guys, that last trip a little disappointing having to take the three. Yeah, and I think, Jesse, you see so many offenses talk about getting yards and the tempo and all the stuff they do. It was a nice job moving the football, but they got to get in the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think to do that, they just got to be more physical at the point of attack, get some push up front. They need to be the best running team in this game to win. He finds his man. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. He'll pull it on the read. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. After trying the running game, let's see if they do it again on second down. To the air, it's Crowder. Looking to the big tight end. Pulls it in. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Looking to the big tight end. He's got it. 
And they make the connection, and he's got it at the 10-yard line, set up with a red zone opportunity. The Trojans have it with a first and 10. He'll do it himself. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Out of the gun. They'll run it inside. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Feeling some heat. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. And if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. The defense didn't get to the quarterback right away. But the QB kept holding on to it. And you see these defenders, they're trying to rally. They're getting up off the ground. And they're getting after the pursuit, trying to chase the quarterback. Eventually get to him after he held the ball for longer than five seconds. And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. Field goal is good. And with that, they've taken the lead. Kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. On the run from inside his own five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Texas State gets the football back, and here comes the offense. Got room at the 35. Up near the 40-yard line, they'll mark it at the 39 to pick up a 15. He'll come out throwing on first down. Got his man on the right. Makes the tackle at the 46, but it's a 15-yard gain to get them into plus territory. Well, this offense knew coming into this game, they wanted to try to attack the middle of the field in the passing game, and they're able to execute the in route there. Caught behind the line. It's Sparks. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. And the Bobcats moving quickly to the line. Leaves it with the back. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. It's third down, and the line to gain is the 36. Shakes off the defender. Across the 25, he's got room. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. From the gun, the running back looking for room. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. You just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for him. Got him looking run. He wants to throw. Grab near the sticks. It's Williams. He steps out of bounds, but it'll be enough to give them a first and goal. First and goal. Looking for the score. And it's a touchdown. It is also a play in which there is a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. They'll throw it on first down. Moves around to clear up the vision. Touchdown, Texas State. And that one will give him the lead. They thought maybe they could contain him. They thought wrong. They did. And, and don't call him a quarterback anymore. Just call these guys skill players. I mean, so fast. You can tell the angles just get chewed up. You think you got a chance to catch him. I'll tell you what, put that in your back pocket. Understand, that guy can fly. I better make sure I take the proper angles when I'm chasing him.
Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Terrific showdown this week, guys. Let's take a look at what's going on. UTEP is down right now inside the Sun Bowl, but this young man under center today has shown some moxie. You could see a legend board today in El Paso. It's just a field goal game. They're trailing by three to Sam Houston. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected, fellas. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. So they'll try to get it going in the right direction this time, second and long from the 19. Looking to throw, it's Crowder. Makes the grab over the middle. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. They're bringing heat. They get it up, rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. That's his second sack of the ball game. That dude is getting after the quarterback offensively. What's my adjustment? First of all, I'm going to roll out away from him. I'm going to double-team him. Let somebody else beat me. Not that guy, because his speed off the edge is killing me. And the Trojans will Number send out the punt unit. Three and out, out, and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. He'll bring it back. It's Anderson. He was hoping for a little more running room, but they're able to get him down at the 45. Texas State has the football back, and they'll go on offense. To the air on first down. Pocket starts to collapse. He'll pull it down and run. Good run on the play, and he slides to avoid the hit. The Bobcats want to crank the tempo. Nice job by the QB sitting back in the pocket. You can tell he wants to throw the football, go through his progressions. Nothing home. Take off and slide. I love the slide at the end. Don't take a big shot. Pulls it in. It's Williams. They make the stop, but the sweet pulling catch is plenty to give them a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. I really like the slot receiver, and I understand he's not the biggest guy in the world, but he just runs really good routes, and he's always under control. He can run option routes. He can run double moves. He does a great job cutting, and he's dangerous after the catch. Nice weapon to have work in the middle of the field. Tough sledding there as he picks up one to the 29. Scanning the field, it's McLeod. Grabs it in the middle. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Coming to the line of scrimmage at the 30. It would be a long field goal, but they'd love to pick up a few here on third and long. A little screen to the running back. Finds a crease at the 20. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Phenomenal play call by the offensive coordinator. You're calling screen passes to take advantage of a good pass rush, and that's exactly what happened. The offensive lineman, they just... Into the end zone, he goes. Touchdown, Texas State. This defense is going to have to do a better job being physical. That's two rushing touchdowns they've now allowed. They have got to be better close to the line of scrimmage. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point is good, and they have an 11-point lead. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Texas State, 31, Troy, 20. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So guys, we'll have another look at this Troy offense. Takes the handoff, it's green. Tried to move that pile forward. He maybe gets two. He's down at the 21. After picking up a couple at second and eight. They'll try the run. 
He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down or else they are really in trouble. Trying to get to him. Escape. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. Quarterbacks don't have high completion percentages from their backs. It's been really hard for this QB to get in any kind of rhythm. We've got to change something up here. We've got to do something different, because right now it's just a sack party. The Trojans send out the punt unit. On to punt it away. He gets a block. He was able to get that ball up to the 48-yard line before he stopped on the return. Texas State gets the football back, and here comes the offense. Out of the gun to give to the back. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. And the Bobcats want to pick up the tempo. Well, no surprise. I mean, with the way they're running the ball early in this game, they're just going to keep doing it. And they're just not hammering out two, three, four-yard gains. They're gashing this defense. You saw it right there. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. Back to throw. It's McLeod. It's complete on the right side. Knocked down at the 25-yard line, picked up 10 there, and gets a first down. No reason to panic when you see those extra bodies coming. Just find the big tight end. Well, and the great ones do that. The great ones are okay. You want to blitz? I know my answers. I'm all right. I'll stay patient. Find the matchup. This time it was the tight end. Finds the tight end, throws a strike, gets the first down. That's the end of the quarter. Texas State has the lead here. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. One quarter to go, and might we have the makings of a classic fourth quarter finish. They're testing the right side here. Headed to the end zone. Touchdown, Bobcats! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. As they push that lead out, a really good opportunity to get back in the win column. Man, we know football gets harder when you start to get in the red zone and the field shrinks. Who needs that? Break the long touchdown run. Nice job by the back. Seeing the hole exploding through, getting the long touchdown run. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And now with the extra point, they're up by 18 here in the fourth. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. 38, Troy, 20. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. Now the Trojan offense returns to the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Quickly out to the tight end. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Wants to throw. It's Crowder. Unloads to the wideout. Already find a hole in that secondary. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. They're going to throw it again. Finds his man. It's Green. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You've got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. And you're going to win this game. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. They'll go to the ground. 
He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After that last loss, it's second and 12. Give to the running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Here they come, facing third and long from the 20. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Fires to the wideout. Makes the grab. He's run out of bounds after the big game, and they are in business first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Trojans. You know, this guy's had a big role in this offense this year, especially when they get down close to the end zone. That's his fifth rushing touchdown on the year. He's been a factor in these guys offensively. Ready to try the point after. And it's perfect. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. UTEP is down right now inside the Sun Bowl, but this young man under center today has shown some moxie. We could see a legend board today in El Paso. They're trailing by 13 to Sam Houston. We'll circle back if anything big happens in this college football matchup. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Able to get just a few before sliding to avoid the hits. Hey, listen, it's important at that position to be able to be good off schedule. Everything's easy when it's on time. You can get the ball out. But when things break down, they get off schedule. You've got to have a guy back there that can make the right decisions. He did exactly that. Just gashing this defense, a big gainer to the 40-yard line. Well, the defense didn't blitz. They didn't have everybody in gaps, and the offensive line took advantage at the point of attack, getting some push, opening up a hole, and the offense ripping off a nice run there. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. The Bobcats headed quickly to the line. They've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, and there's certainly still plenty of football to go, but this is where you'd love to control the flow of the game, right? You want to dictate everything to the defense, and you do that by running the football. That was a really nice run. This offensive line is firing off late. Looks like they're getting stronger as the game goes on, and that is a good sign for the offense. They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. And the Bobcats come to the line with a fresh set of downs. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. He's got it and still on his feet. Touchdown, Bobcats! What a catch and run for six. No midseason doldrums for these guys as they push out the lead in week six. And this offense continuing to put up points. This game's out of reach. You know you're going to win, but still throwing the football, still finding that connection. I imagine there'll be some salty handshakes at the end of this game. On to attempt the try. Is on for the extra point. And now with the extra point, they're up by 18 here in the fourth. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Texas State, 45, Troy, 27. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. Guys, the Troy offense returns to the field. How about that last drive? Just carved him up in the air, David. Yeah. Going to take a shot. Oddity toast to coverage, got it deep downfield. Touchdown, Troy! And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. And how about the bomb? The long field all the way across the field. Big time play, big time throw. Receiver runs underneath it, takes it to the house. Huge play for this offense. They'll try to tack one more on their score.
blitz the uprights. That kind of drive will boost your confidence. One play, hit the big pass, put a touchdown on the board. They've cut into this lead. It's down to 11 as they're set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Finds just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. Texas State has the football back, and they'll go on offense. If you like old-fashioned, grinded-up, run-over-em football, that last touchdown drive was for you, Jesse. That was impressive, man. Great blocking up front and tough physical running by these ball carriers. Though. And now you wonder how the defense responds. Like, are they going to get way more aggressive to try to stop the run? I got to do something to break the rhythm of that running game. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The Bobcats racing to the line in the hurry-up. To the air, it's McLeod. Got out of trouble, got rid of it. Makes his connection. Love to see these third down conversions on offense and they're out to their own 39 yard line. And that's a first down. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to put a half push pass. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the outside. Looking to scramble. They make the stop, but what a job on the scramble to get loose and pick up that first down. He's got such good awareness in the pocket. He does a good job of feeling the rush, and you know it's a pass, and you want to keep your eyes downfield, but he sees an opening, and if he sees an opening, he's got the ability to go get it and get a first down. Twin receivers on both sides of the field. It's second and four. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in a game like this, right, you still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space, and that is exactly what this offense is doing. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves to change for the first down. It's got to be tough right now on defense. You need to find a way to get a stop, and you haven't been able to do that in the fourth quarter. You've been giving up points. You just gave up a touchdown in the last drive. You need a turnover. You need to do something right now to stop this momentum. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. This offensive scoring position with a fresh set of downs. A first down run in the red zone. Pushes ahead for two to the seven-yard line. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. They'll keep it on the ground right up the gut, looking for six. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. A huge chance for points here on third and goal, and if they can get it in, we might have ourselves a finish. Looking downfield, it's McLeod. Moves away as he feels pressure. And he rolls into the house. Touchdown, Texas State. Now they've got a little breathing room after that score, and a week six victory is in the offing, it appears. The offense strikes again to extend its lead here in the second half. And they got everything working. How great is this? You extend your lead, now you get your defense back on the field. Great job taking advantage of the situation and building on that lead. They'll try to add another to their lead. And now with the extra point, they're up by 18 here in the fourth. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Texas State, 52, Troy. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So guys, we'll have another look at this Troy offense. Caught over the middle. It's green. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. He's got an open man. 
And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. And the Trojans in the hurry up. And I love when you understand when I'm supposed to put some RPMs on that football. You could tell he's thrown over the middle of the field. He knows he's got defenders there. I got to throw this thing in there quick, fast, in a hurry. Nice job by the quarterback. And the DB making a huge play, knocking it away downfield. Now inside four minutes to go here on second down. They want to just keep throwing it. Going to try to pop one on the screen. They finally get him stopped, but and what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. That is a time-honored way to slow down the rush, hit him with the screen, and a chunk play. Yeah, such a great job because you're flying up the field to get to the quarterback because everything looks like pass down the field. Let those guys get up the field, pull right behind him. He does a little bit of the rest, making some moves, getting upfield, making the big play. Back to pass, it's Crowder. He looks that one in nicely. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. They'll try to get it through the air. Throws to the wideout. And they're not on the same page there. Down by multiple possessions, they can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. Tackled, but he has a first down. And the Trojans Trojan. come to the line with a new set of downs. An easy call to go for it and easier after you make it. Yeah, we've seen it from this offense, too, throughout the season. In these types of situations, they just believe that they can make the play and they can get the push up front. That's exactly what happened. Second and short now after that completion. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Shakes off the tackler. He's all the way down to the three. Showed it all on that run. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we see miracles in college football all of the time, and they could use one here. He's looking to throw. Fires into the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Troy! Nice job by the offense going down the field, putting points on the board, but you're still down a couple possessions. Still need some good things to happen. You need your kicker to go over there and get warmed up. We need an onside. We need to score some points. We need a lot of things to go right to win this football game. He'll try to tack on one more. Splits those uprights right in half. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. UTEP is down right now inside the Sun Bowl, but this young man under center today has shown some moxie. We could see a legend board today in El Paso. It's less than a touchdown lead. They're trailing by six to Sam Houston. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. And he'll be run out of bounds, and these guys are piling up some serious yardage totals. First and 10, they're down to the 25. They want that clock to run. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. From the gun, running back gets to give. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Wide receiver now comes in motion. 
give to the back. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. They'll be perfectly content to go right back to the ground here on second and eight. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. Looking for a man. It's McLeod. Skips away from pressure. And the quarterback goes down. There is a penalty flag on the field, but I think the defense might have the option just to take this play. They'll decline the penalty here and let the result of that play stand. They'll send out the kicker here. It's good. And that lead grows even bigger. That makes the score. Texas State, 55. Troy, 41. First order of business here. Don't give up a big return. Then the defense just has to keep them out of the end zone. And he'll return it and try to get behind his blockers. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Now the Trojan offense returns to the field. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about create balance. And the pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. The hurry up now, second down, clock ticking. Brings up second down. He'll spike the ball to try to save every precious second he can. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. No sign of the punt team as they will go for it and try to move those chains. On fourth down, going to the air. He's going up top here late in the game. It's incomplete, and they'll turn it over on downs. After this, it'll be a wrap. And with things in their favor on the scoreboard, the quarterback's favorite play in the playbook. The old deal down from victory formation. Well, this was an offensive showcase out there today. We thought it would be a high-scoring game, and it certainly delivered. If you love offense, then you love this type of game. Both offenses going up and down the field. Seemingly it will. Throwing the ball, running the ball. But, David, I feel like if you're a fan of defense, maybe this is what's your cup of tea. Ah, uh, more defense option. You <laughs> didn't really get too much of that stuff. But, you know, listen, you got to get a few stops late in the game. you got to get one, actually, just kind of one stop with this many points that was being scored. you got the stop late. That's why you got the dub. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.